yes let's take a look and see what is happening here in this aki tree haha -ha. there's open aki let me see if there is any other yes there is open aki in the tree so it seems like today i will be doing the national dish yes aki is ready and remember guys do not use anything to open your akis you must allow it to open naturally on the tree before you attempt to cook it all right remember that Now remember guys, do not use the aki if it's not open like this. It should be open naturally on the tree, right? So if it's not open naturally, do not attempt to use it or to cook it. Alright, remember. So it's quite easy to remove the aki from the pad. It does open the pad like this and pull out the aki quite simple open the pad aki is out open pad of the aki and take out the aki all right so now when you get to this stage what you want to do you want to remove the seed and remove this here part from the aki okay so you remove the seed and you ensure that all the pink is also removed from the aki. Yeah? You have to be safe. See that? Clean. This aki is ready to cook. So remember, slide cut at each side of the seed. Remove the seed. Open the peg. And any pinkish or any color that you see inside there let us remove it only the natural color of the aki should be inside see so remember so that is the way how you clean your aki and make it and prepare it for cooking all right take out the seed remember and remove all the pink from inside the belly of the aki yeah good to go now when you're going to cook your aki you must ensure that you add it to boiling water yes ensure that the water is already boiling before you add your aki so here is our aki that we finish picking out and we are going to add it to the boiling water right now. If you add your aki to water that is not boiling, then you will find yourself with some aki soup and you don't want to have any aki soup, right? So now you allow this to cook for about 5 to 10 minutes and we continue with the process of this aki. Alright? Now guys, look at that. Look at the aki in the pot. Yes. Looks good, don't it? Yep. Get in there. Another 2 minutes and it would be ready right now guys remember at the same time when your aki is on the fire 
you want to have your salt fish in the meanwhile boiling my salt fish is over here I was moving too fast so I forgot to capture it while it was boiling so this is the water that has been changed and a new one is there so my salt fish is on the fire as well and the aki is over here two minutes time I will be getting rid of that water from the aki and continue the process so when your aki is boiling you want to strain it off yeah you want to get rid of all the water yeah so there you go you can see the steam coming up yes so you strain all your water off and add your aki to the container that you will be using to store it right so when your salt fish is boiled you want to ensure that you get rid of this part yeah so in order to get rid of this part you just get a fork or a spoon or anything and just scrape this away you know this is if you boil it with the skin on you have persons that you know you tear off the skin before you boil it and you wouldn't have this to do after it is boiled but if you do it like me and have the skin on when boiling then you are required to remove all of this when it is finished boiling alright now as we continue the preparation of our salt fish you want to remove this from it as well you know you have a little skin here so you want to remove this okay if you have this in your finished product it wouldn't taste good it don't go good in the mouth you know it not taste good in your mouth right um, so you want to take that part off as well and then you want to dig in now and try to find all the bones all the bones get rid of all the bones so you want to open the salt fish up open it up and search through for all the bones remember now you don't want the salt fish to be too fine to pick up too fine either and you don't want it to be too thick all right so you just go through gradually open the salt fish searching through for bones searching for bones and once there's no bones then you know it is good to go but the bones can be very tricky so even after you pick it you run back through and you search again just to ensure that there is no bones especially if you have kids you know that is going to eat from the family pot you want to ensure that there is no bone to cause any injury to them so when you're picking a salt fish you want to go through very keenly and ensure that you remove all the necessary bones from it all right so this is through but i will still go back through again just to ensure that there is no bones all right all right this looks to be pretty safe at the moment so this will be going inside my aki ha there's a bone see that and i just said it was safe and there was a bone sticking out and possible there is more but it's not being seen at the moment all right So as I prepare my garnishes, yeah, onion, scallion, garlic, that's all I'll be using.
this is all I'll be using my scallion my onion and garlic those are my favorite season or garnishes for any occasion once I have those all will be fine all right Now it is time to get this inside the pot. All right, so now I'll be adding in my garnish to the pot. I just want to ensure that this is saute for a few seconds. 20 seconds. Oops. From here now, I'll be adding my salt fish. Remember the salt fish that I picked up earlier and remove the bones? Yes. I add that to the pot. Now I will be adding in the main ingredients yes there we go the aki and then you want to stir in all the necessary garnishes and the saltfish inside the pot and what i add last is a bit of yes somehow we don't consider our aki to be finished unless it has on some black pepper once the black pepper is added your aki is ready yes that's it quite simple and authentic Jamaican ackee and saltfish and the greatest thing about ackee and saltfish it can be have it can be have for any meal whether it be breakfast lunch or dinner it is that versatile 